Stinson a yard deep on the return to the 20 diving across the 20 yard line out to the 21 going over 150 yards rushing and they did it against the orange they'll slam this one into the line with Deion Jackson Isaiah Moore makes the stop number one 43 percent on third down for the season eighth in the ACC for Duke needed to get up near that 31 yard line Jackson on the carry I think they're going to spot him James right at the 30 which would be short for that ball on a third down and two now across the 40 yard line up to the 42 for Ricky Person first down chains are moving NC State has been gassed visibly many times this season Leary to an open receiver Thayer Thomas gobbles it up they are moving the ball effectively so far on this drive to start the game for them. Person. They're in the white and blue. NC State, red and white. Leary to pass. Right near the 20-yard line. Defender and receiver got tangled up a little bit. That's Devin Carter for NC State, the intended target. Robertson, the deep man. Trenton Gill to punt. And that one's blocked by Duke. Bouncing back, scooped up. They're headed to the end zone. Special teams touchdown. Dorian Mosey takes it in for Duke on the block. Isaiah Fisher-Smith got a piece of it. Mosey takes it in for six. Wolfpack, they had a block of their own in the win over Virginia last week, but they also missed a, a fake uh, punt try by Virginia that was pulled off on them. Here's another blunder, and Duke taking advantage of it. One thing that's really stood out in the two road wins the last two weeks. Ball. Ball's out. Scrap for the ball at the 15. Duke says it has it. They're celebrating. Knight was on the carry. Blue Devils have it. A block punt and a turnover. Leonard Johnson falls on it for the Blue Devils inside the red zone as they recover the fumble. So you back up the block punt and the scoop and score for the touchdown with this. This was an issue not for Duke last year, but for NC State in a big way. All the turnovers and going right after that rocket looked like Dwayne Carter gone into the end zone. Instead, it's third down and ten. Bryce steps up and throws and it's intercepted. Peyton Wilson, now the ball's on the turf at the 11. And NC State maintains possession after the interception by Peyton Wilson. A, a bad touch pass, what could have, should have been. And this one, he tries to force it in. But number 11 says, uh-uh. Peyton Wilson turns it right around Wolfpack football. And they're fired up right now, looking for that turnover boom. For Wilson, and that stopped. Duke, which had recovered in the red zone. Now this is Ricky Person breaking away. Trying to get to midfield, and he gets shoved out of bounds by Shaka Hayward. Person was going to be dropped for a loss. Runs, just changes the angle on a couple guys. Runs right through him, 34 yards right up to midfield. And he stayed on the move. Another third, third and short. short. Yeah, exactly, James. Will they get this one? I don't know. It's going to be close. Maybe driven back a yard. There is officially no gain on the play from Zonovan Knight. Because it was every man for himself coming through there. Fair catch made by John Tavis Robertson. He's like that that don't even show up in the box score. Second and ten for Chase Bryce. And that one too high for the receiver on the far side. There's a flag as he was looking for Dennis Smith. Second down and ten. The pass complete. Calhoun got away from the first man and the second man. Now he gets ridden out of bounds near the 40-yard line into that NC State bench area. Jalen Calhoun. Third down and medium. Third down and three, they'll call. Looking to convert on third down for the first time in the game. Chase Price nowhere to go. And three red shirts converge on Chase Price. Wilson maybe a little bit banged up on that. But how about the pursuit? Look at him. Look at the Wolves hunting together. Stretching it out. Good angles. And watch everybody. We saw earlier, remember we saw Duke earlier, a couple guys take the wrong angles. 
23 seconds left in regulation against Pitt. Incredible game-winning drive by the youngster. Look at this. Trying to go deep. Receiver and defender get tangled up. There is an interception from Jeremiah Lewis. C.J. Riley was the target for Leary. Many fans here, but you can hear them chirping because they want a flag. Let's see. It looks almost like the feet got tangled up. There you actually see a hand on the hip. As Riley goes down, no flag. A good job of tracking that ball. Through it all by Jeremiah Lewis. David Cutcliffe was telling us, hey, even Peyton Manning, I drilled him to death on that rollout, and he got better at it. They worked on it a lot this week. This is Durant. He gets near the 50-yard line. and got popped, and a flag came out. Blue Devils, 0 for 3 on third down, just 43% so far this season, starting a game. This one is going to be short of the marker as well. It was at the 25-yard line. Got to get to the 25. Quick pass. Bobo complete and tripped up near the 20. So one play with zeros on the clock. Bryce, third and long, trying to extend the play, and then he sails that one towards the seats. The play of the drive will be a field goal attempt of 46 yards from Charlie Ham, the redshirt freshman. And Ham adds another three. 2013, it's been a while for these geographically closely located teams. Person Jr. Trying to find that sideline. Turn it upfield near the 30. Knocked out of bounds right at the 30-yard line. Devin Leary, sophomore quarterback. And his running back, Person, is going to be dropped. It's going to be a loss of two on the play. Ran into Ben Fry. Single digit number three for Fry. Fry on the play. Three's the magic number for the Blue Devils. Look at all the white hats sitting there waiting on that edge. This is... Third and eight. Pressured. Almost going down was Leary. Got away. Fires on the run. That one pops in the air and it's caught. Emeka Amezi was in the neighborhood and alertly snared it out of the air. And there is a Duke player who is down. Well, <laughs> the serious traffic and trouble starts with Fry. He can't drop Leary. Leary escapes, gets it out. The ball goes up in the air, what seems like forever. Amezi's going to come down with it. So dodging a little bit of a bullet and a wolf back, making things happen taking a shot on Leary and rolled the dice a little bit. Lived to play another down. Pressure. Leary got it away. Person. Right at the line. And that is going to be a first down as Mousi brought him down. So now third and six for NC State inside that 40 of two. Leary the time underneath. Some room to run. First down inside the 30. Devin Carter. Play for the pack to move the chains. NC State averages over 34 points per game. Not on the board yet. This one down by the goal line. A juggling chance. Right near the pylon. Devin Carter in front of Jeremiah Lewis. First go back to this catch. These two have been going at it. And quickly over that ball because it was going to be interesting if they take another look at it. And I think it's the right call. This time has to double catch it, but he pulls it in nonetheless. They're over the ball in a hurry. On first and goal, trying to slam it in to the end zone and in for the touchdown. Jordan Houston finishes off the drive for NC State. And they're on the board. James is his second rushing TD of the season. And after the big hookup through the air, Houston, we have a touchdown. <laughs> NC State is on the board. It's 10-7. 0 for 5, a third down of the game for Duke. They'll send it out to Pankol. He was tackled almost immediately. Isaac Duffy and now 0 for 6 on third down. And Duke into the punting situation. His team trailing 10-7. This one bouncing around. It went out of bounds. And look at those flags. Yeah, on that first bounce, they're going to put it at the 49 on the Duke side of the field. There are two flags behind the play. Back yeah. to third and short. Duke hasn't converted yet, James. That is going to be J. 
just enough. Deion Jackson with a run of three yards to grease the chains for Duke and move him up the field. First time to convert on third down of the game for the Blue Devils. Up the middle for Deion Jackson behind his line. Some whistle activity as well between these longtime ACC rivals and some good sportsmanship there also on display. Worst possible time helping out this Duke offense. Sprinting out to his left. Durante's cut down. Drake Thomas, number 32 and a sophomore on the play. Drake Thomas found out he was going to start going in the first game and against Wake had 12 tackles, a sack, a tackle for law. Worst case scenario, punt it away and make him earn it. Rice, the pass right near the marker at the 38. Jake Bobo with the leap. Bobo has to climb the ladder, runs that route, breaks it off right at the chains. Tanner Ingles breaking on it, it's going to hit him. And he lands hard on his back. Surprised he popped right up. That's kind of landing where you knock the wind out of yourself. And they'll move those sticks. They're going to check the video and make sure it certainly seemed like he landed in bounds. But what a throw and catch. Guy that's covered. 13th play of the drive. And that Jackson. And that's a first down for Duke. Second and 10 for Chase Bryce. Junior quarterback from Grayson, Georgia. Bryce still has it. And Bryce inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Duke. Snap of the game. You run it, you run it, you run it, you run it. Everybody can trying to stop that back. They've done such a good job. It's down inside the 10 there. First and goal. That is Bobo. And he makes his way to the end zone. Jake Bobo with some fancy footwork. Had a huge catch to convert on third down for Duke, and then he takes it into the end zone. Boy, a lot of traffic over here. <laughs> a nice job of clearing things off. Marweedy. A little bit of a... C State with the football. Plenty of time to answer right here for Leary in the offense, that's for sure. Wants to go up top there midfield. In amongst three defenders, and the catch made of Mecca Emezi, the senior. Start for Leary back against Pitt. Seven catches, 101 yards, and two touchdowns for Amezi. And look at that. Talk about threading the needle. He dropped a few in in that game and against Virginia early. Here's your third down and six now, Tom. Leary, the pocket collapsing around him. He gets out of there, but he's going to be short. The 38-yard line needed to get to the 38 for the first down and wrapped up by Drew Jordan, number two. Here comes the block. Thank you. Got a piece of it. It's bouncing around. Picked up by NC State and into the end zone. They block and they score. Max Fisher, number 22, picked it up and took it in. An eight-yard return for the touchdown for NC State. Wow, they bring the house. Everybody in a red jersey on the field coming through. And there's your scoop and score. They blocked a punt. There's a pretty good chance you're going to win a game. Now I guess it is anybody's game. It's a coin flip because each team's blocked a punt in this one in the first half. Crazy first half. So Bryce back out there gave this one to Durant. Collision at the 45-yard line. They'll mark him at the 44. Chip away a little bit. 19 seconds they left in this first half. Bryce taking off. And wisely angling out of bounds. And that was Wilson. And there are two markers, and now they're really jawing back and forth. In fact, that's Bobo stepping in. He's on the sideline. Charlie Ham sends it on through. Four for six on third down in the game. That's Leary who still has the football. They thought about it late in the first half and tried to draw Duke offside. And they'll go with the sneak to the 35, Devin Leary. This is going to be close. Looks like it's right on it, doesn't it? The indication is first down. The offense stays out there on a fourth down and short. 
Leary. Ball on the turf. Duke says it has it. Drew Jordan, he's got the football for the Blue Devils. And a flag comes out late, and there is an NC State player down as well. All right, looks like all four of those flags were for that reason. It's Tangelo. Leary is losing the football before he's even hit as he tried to tuck it away. No question about it when it comes to turnovers for these teams today. Bryce with the football. What a fake. Down to the 15. Get him at the 16 or so. Third time today they've run this, and it's just it's the right read, and then so. I mean, nobody on the field thinks that Chase Bryce is going to tuck the... So stiffening a little bit right here, forcing a third down and six now is this Wolfpack D. Three for ten on third down. Bryce improvising. Move at the ten. Took the contact beyond the five and then gets to the five. Inside of it, down to the four. Chase Bright. Jake and I. We're punishing on us. It's hard to watch. It's not pretty, but it's working. Hey, we'll take it, number eight, Duke fans say. There's like bumper cars in there, but just fighting enough. Third and goal. Bryce hands it off to Jackson. There's no gain on that play. Victory's on the road. Those fourth down stands. Bryce is going down through an incomplete pass. NC State had the play diagnosed, and it's another goal line stand for the back. Four years in coaching for Tony Gibson, defensive coordinator at West Virginia from 2014 to 2018 from his own end zone. Leary, that's a floater at the 30 and caught. Devin Carter never took his eyes off that one. The reception for 88 in red. 30 yards on the play, James Bates. And I think Leary may have even been hit as he's throwing this one. Looked like his arm got hit. I don't know that it did, but he launched it up there. And 88's going to find a way to track it down. Defensive backs in the secondary. But again, you got to back it up with some consistency. Get back over the ball and get something going. Good to see Chris Rump back out there. Seems impossible. Will they get this one? What a catch near the 45-yard line. Thayer Thomas. There's a flag behind the play, James. See it again. Third down and 16 now. Leary has to escape that crumbling pocket. Being chased by Demukeji. Leary short of 40. This Wolfpack quarterback, man, he's got some fire to him. He's, he's the kind of guy that fires up his, his offense, his team. So got to get that cleaned up. Gill punts it. Robertson waits. Coming up to it. Short of the 25. Leaps over the 30. The linebacker. I watched his highlights <laughs> earlier today getting ready. When he was a, a high schooler, good football player as well. That pass complete to Noah Gray. Healthy as he's been in a while. Played through a lot of injuries the last couple of years. Hit as he threw. Up in the air. Intercepted at the 40. Peyton Wilson has his second pick of the game. Two for him. Going to sign it twice here today. And there's Drake Thomas. Just as that ball goes back, it doesn't go far very, very far forward. Looking for a third down conversion for the first time in this quarter for the season, and they got it tonight. Another beautifully thrown ball, a wheel route. So well, we got 20 on the previous toss. This down by the five. It's another catch. A Mecca and Mezzi on the heels of the wheel route catch. There's a Mezzi. A little bit, a bit of a boost by this offense. Quickly over the football, going to try to punch it in. Leary over the middle to the end zone and caught Carrie Angeline for the Wolfpack touchdown. Nice catch by Amezi. And they're quickly over the football with the tempo. On third down of the game. Those edges start to bend around Chase Bryce. He throws an incomplete pass looking for Noah Gray. That time it was the big wheel route. The first of those three catches. Pressure coming. Leary gets hit. Rumpf 
found a way to the quarterback and dropped him. Keep leaving those sacks out there. You got to finish those sacks. This is how you finish. Captain of this defense. Four and a half sacks now on the season for Rumpf. This one goes second level and past the 30. Dragging two players is Ricky Person. 6-1 and a solid 215. What a run. Looks like he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Going to cut it back and outrun a couple of these guys and then drag. Second down and forever. Third down and one. Person got 17. And he slipped down, but he had gotten the first down before losing his footing. And he is the back. Big hit at the 40. Flags are out. Lummy Young came up to hit the quarterback. So late here in the third, NC State with the football. And leading by a point. Hockman's pass. You know, the 20 is incomplete, but a flag comes out. 17 seconds, Billy Hockman is in there. Good play fake. Pass down near the 10 and caught. Out with the injury to the ankle and caught it off. Hockman, lefty looking left, into the end zone, almost intercepted, and then a one-handed grab for a touchdown! Braced against the helmet by Thayer Thomas! A 100 for 100 on extra points, through the hands of the defender, Jalen Alexander, and right to Thayer Thomas. Wow, goes from, oh gosh, here we go again to, how about that? How about the concentration? Wow, the reaction, you can see it in that last shot. State just owned the football the whole third quarter. Want to try to stay on the field. Four of 13 on third down. They will not get this one. How about Dawkins? Zero right there for the roadblock. Drake Thomas, his teammate, also there. Zero. Zero may have gotten their first look at him. Refusing to go down. There's Drake Thomas popping him the same time as Dawkins, but an excellent job. out of the pocket gets tackled with the 48 of Duke they're gonna have to just go to work and do it on their own 63rd play of the game for Bryce hit as he threw it but that one is complete Jared Garner finally getting in the mix from their own 38 yard line here they come Bryce touch on it near the 35 the ball bounces away from Pankel they started the first two games of the season. Got a win against Wake Forest. This is Person. Up the sideline. Ricky Person. Out of bounds. At the 30. Person does the damage. What a big day for Ricky Person. Here he's going to do it through the air. Look at the big man leading the way. Icky Aquanu and company and you know guys on the defense just kind of letting up hey someone else gonna run him out of bounds he's gonna step out and helped him so much defensively for duke though Hockman trying to get out of the pocket and he gets sacked demo cagey cagey the senior we talked to his defensive line coach and co-defensive coordinator this week ben albert he said, don't let them hold you. Only babies are allowed to be held. Big sack for the big senior defensive end for Duke, trying to turn the tide. Demu KG now 20 and a half sacks in his Duke career. This is Bobo. Picked it up on a hop. Can't get back to the 30-yard line. A little bit of a sell job there for Bryce. Glad they didn't throw the flag right there on him. Bryce throws on the run. That pass complete, Marwidi, as they host Florida State, which will play North Carolina, and that kicks off in about 40 minutes. This is Bryce taking the contact, putting the head down, and he slammed into the defender. Bryce wants to throw it. Intercepted. Interception, Jalen Scott. Returns it up near midfield, up to the 48. Jalen Scott with the interception. Uh, contact.
Tech Tracing. Joshua Pierre Lewis steps up, the freshman. Isaiah Moore just went down the linebacker. Who's his backup? Right here. Number two, Jalen Scott knows exactly what to do. Drops into a zone, watching the eyes of that quarterback. Goes up and one hands it to pull it in. Man, that's a heck of a play, and it says so much about Tonight, got through, got inside the 40. Shaka Hayward made the tackle, but not before Knight gets the first down for NC State on the rush. Evan didn't, didn't have the night tonight like he did last week in the win over Virginia on the road, but that right there, man, didn't get any bigger than that carry right there, running through tackles and not being denied. And a person's got 14 carries for 88 yards. This is Knight. Come on, back to back first down runs. Those big guys up front, and, and, and this is the closer, if you will. We've talked a lot about baseball, those playoffs going on. <laughs> wow, looks good. Goodness. Let's see how they look on third down. Lindsey, not going to get it. No, Duke's defense is the one feasting. They're driving the ball carrier back. Rocky Shelton made the play. 39 yard try. Christopher Dunn made one and missed two last week at Virginia. This one is good. It's away from the initial pressure, then he gets dragged down. Loss on the play for Bryce. Two yards back. Bryce over the middle in stride. That's caught near the 40. Jake Bobo, very capable hands, making the catch and moving. Just beyond their own 40 for Duke. Bryce through the progression, back over the middle again. The result is the same. Right back to Bobo. Ten yards. And right before that interception that they threw on that last draft, they were starting to really move the football through the air. Bryce was pressured, got it away. And that's another completion of Bobo. Catch number six on the night. He has a TD as well. Most important, keep everything in front of you. Just eating away at the middle of the field. And look here again, but nowhere to go but tuck it and run. That's a little pick up here for Chase Bryce. Bryce. Spun down. Could not find an option to throw it to. By Duke. Boy, they were all coming right here. A nice play call here to bring the blitz and the pressure. It's there immediately. And well, they might have gotten away with a little one right there. All these flags that seem to go their way in the first half. He's hit from 46 and 29. And that one is no good. Well, and after that Virginia Tech game, a game that Coach Dorn and, and his team called embarrassing. And it, and it wasn't just the game itself, but it was the practice, the intensity or lack thereof.